Every day is the same in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Tens of thousands of diesel-fueled public transport vehicles ply different routes through the city, emitting poisonous exhaust gases and lots of noise. It's bad for the environment and it's bad for people's lungs. 20,000 people die from air pollution in Nairobi every year. But Linus Basire's bus is different. After 20 years of driving diesel vehicles, Linus was able to make the switch to electric thanks to a local electromobility startup. And he already appreciates the difference from a driver's point of view. There's no uh, a lot of expenses in this bus, like uh, a diesel bus. For example, I used to do uh, a service every month. This one, you, you, you don't do any service. Uh, the driving is also different. As you can see, there's no clutch. You don't have a gear here. So it's a very smooth driving compared to a diesel uh, vehicle. The company providing Linus with the bus is Basi Go. It launched operations in Nairobi in late 2021 and hopes to expand and transform public transport across East Africa in the near future. I think we're at that time where we can no longer turn a blind eye to the contribution of uh, transport-based carbon emissions to the environment. And it's definitely um, a great time for Basigo to take the lead in providing alternative solutions to ensure that at least public transportation shifts from the use of fossil fuels to clean energy. The company is operating two Chinese-made BYD electric buses. As the fleet expands, the aim is to assemble the next vehicles in Kenya. Each bus can cover a total of 250 kilometers on a full battery, which takes up to four hours to charge. The company buys each bus for about 39,000 euros. It then sells them to operators for the same price as a diesel bus and charges a use-based subscription fee. This covers costs such as leasing the battery, nightly charging, as well as service and maintenance. So with regards to, is there a gap uh, for service and maintenance? No. Basigo has all that planned. What we'd like our drivers and the different operators to do is come, pick the buses, and just drive and enjoy the drive and leave the maintenance to Basigo. Basigo has currently trained a team of uh, well-versed engineers that know how to handle high-voltage systems, that know how to handle the different mechanical systems for the electric buses. So Basigo currently is um, the, the only provider of, of service and maintenance for these buses in, uh, in partnership with BYD. The idea is that operators can boost profitability through the reduced fuel expenses and maintenance costs of electric buses. And the new bus is not just smoother to drive and less tiring for the drivers. Nairobi passengers, who are used to smoking noisy matatus, as they are known locally, really notice the difference with a new clean bus beyond the free Wi-Fi and cell phone charging points. This is the first time I've boarded this bus, and it's a bus that provides so many services that others cannot provide. You feel relaxed inside, and there's no noise. It's a nice bus. Passengers are paying the same level of fares for now, but this is hoped to go down when operators get a clearer idea of their new running costs. Basigo hopes to increase its fleet of electric buses to 1,000 in the next five years.